as possibly bleak as this. Drogba! They pulled the rabbit out of the hat again. Mauricio Pochettino, week one as Chelsea manager. Are you happy about it? Are you enjoying the training session, the press conference, everything? Are you changing your mind? Because some of us didn't really want even Pochettino, me included. Okay? I didn't want Pochettino, but now he totally convinced me, and I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Are you in the same case as me? Are you positive for next season? Are you positive with the transfer window? If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Only one click away, my friends. It's going to take you one second of your life if you appreciate the work, the effort that your brother is putting to provide you quality product. Please do it. The minimum likes is 1,000 in this video. my people <laughs> i really enjoying that uh, what uh, pochettino is doing at the moment so we're gonna go through some random topics because it's been very quiet we're still repeating the same things in different words recycling the same news different sentences but it's the same thing pretty much do you like the new kit look at that I made this uh, short video early on. It's it's really classy. If we got like a, a very good sponsor, imagine if it was like Samsung. Bam! <laughs> it was going to be something classic, right? But it looks good. The logo is gold. Uh, the Naki logo also is gold and white. A little bit of white by the side. And then blue. You know, finally you have something, you know, something simple. <laughs> Not overcomplicated with a snake kind of pattern. You can't even have an autograph and all that. But yeah, I think uh, the shirt is going to be, it's going to be a source. Look at that. So yeah, so I made a short video on this one. So I, I definitely, I am going to buy it if it's, if it's not like an ugly logo, <laughs> the tree logo, I'm going definitely to buy it. Okay, let's now talk about football and transfer. That's what people are here for. They want to hear that we are buying somebody, right? So, can you spend your 12 million on, on Dybala, Paolo Dybala? <laughs> it's going to cost only like 12 million euros, which is like 10 million pounds. He's almost 30 years old, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. He's 29, exactly, but almost 30. And what position he's going to play? Who's going to stay on the bench? You know? Are you going to take another spot from my brother Chukwe Maker or some, something? <laughs> you know, so apparently Poch is a big, big fan of Dybala and already gave his green light. We've been hearing everybody from Argentina or from South America, Poch want them. But that is just paper talk, right? So, if you look at the last season, he scored 12 goals, 6 assists, 53 chances created, 12 big chances created, uh, 2.1 uh, key passes, and all that good stuff. But these statistics are in Syria, 
Premier League is a different animal. Dybala, his salary though, you know, he might cost only 10 million pounds, but his salary is going to be ridiculous. His image, image right, third party ownership and all that. So let's wait and see what's going to happen. If the manager decides to go for him, I would just welcome him at Chelsea Football Club. No problem. All right, my people, let's move on to see what other topics that I decided to comment on. Romelu Lukaku, remember him? <laughs> Big Rom. Big Rom in the building, people. According to Matt Lou, Inter are stru structuring. Yeah, I can't even speak. Um, a package worth of 35 million for Lukaku. This is still an insult. And there are some news saying that Inter are very angry about Chelsea because they are not taking their low ball offer. I'm like, listen, when you sold us Lukaku two years ago, were you angry getting 100 million? Why are you angry now that Chelsea want to get something? Chelsea are not going to get any, any kind of profit from Lukaku, okay? It's just to get rid of him but not at any cost so Chelsea need really to stay firm on this one I am not gonna move one inch let me even show you uh, that report somewhere that said Inter are very 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 angry about it but yeah it's gonna be a lot of search here but we, we just move for me Chelsea need to stay firm. Do not really move. If you don't want um, you don't want to pay the money we are asking for, get out. <laughs> so uh, they Chelsea actually got offer. Like Juventus are going to get him pay more money, but Lukaku just wants Inter. And I understand, I don't blame him because if he joined in uh, Juventus from Inter, he's going to be booed in every stadium in Italy. And he's going to have Chelsea fans on his back and also Inter fans. And everybody's going to be calling him all kind of bad names. So I don't think he's going to even try to do this. So, yeah. But I heard also that he's going to take like one, he's going to make a sacrifice of one million in order to join inter so i think yeah he should be he should do more if you love inter that much brother you have to to to, to facilitate this because chelsea we can't lose that kind of money all right my people let me move on these are the topics that i decided to to show you on this one and that's why i told you that we're gonna be all over the place and don't blame me so um so this is what i just talked about lukaku and inter being very furious for us trying to get money <laughs> they wanna they wanna mug us off get out of here <laughs> all right people so and uh, going back to t uh to dibala tiago silva the agent did his work uh, he said that he would like to see Dybala at Chelsea Football Club, and because they were, uh, they were they were at Grand Grand Prix somewhere, Formula One or something, and uh, he was asked about Dybala, and agent Thiago Silva said that he would like to have Dybala at Chelsea Football Club, and one of the Chelsea fans also went to the same uh, the same uh, F1. And then he asked Dybala on camera, are you coming to Chelsea? And Dybala tried to avoid. He didn't answer anything. So there is something here cooking. Who knows? And then Dusan Vlahovic, my people. Dusan Vlahovic, you have to take this seriously. Dusan Vlahovic. So... As you all know, Juventus been kicked out of uh, Europa Conference League. Last season, they lost 
10 point in Italy because of you know issues that they have and now they are not even in European competition so it's just getting worse and worse so keep your eye open on the bar or uh, not the bala Vlahovic situation because all the big sources are reporting in Italy Alfredo Pedula uh, and other news outlet they are talking about Pochettino already gave his green light so he told Chelsea listen get me this guy so next week is gonna be a big week for Chelsea Football Club I think Chelsea are just waiting for Lukaku situation to to find a solution there and then they're gonna move for uh, Vlahovic listen I'm I'm skeptical <laughs> about him but if that's what uh, Pochettino want and then you have to bring him at the bridge why not